I have to research this right after we open this mystery tackle box. Thank yeah. you, Rebecca. Uh, and, and, and this is, <laughs> nice segue. Thank you. Yeah, this is a good segue. Uh, Brian DeCarver, give me a close up <laughs> of this because this is exciting to me. It's a different uh, look. Yeah, it's a different look. Uh, everybody that follows Ike Live knows Mystery Tackle Box. They know that we've <laughs> opened the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box for years. And the Pro Box is awesome. I love the Pro Box. But this is a new box, Pete. I'm excited about this. If you look at it, it's dark gray slash charcoal gray. And this thing is called the Elite Mystery Tackle Box. Eric, Ooh. tell me a little bit about this box. You know about it. This has got a bigger value in this box. And what it is does. the Elite I, I value? There's $60 worth of value in that $60 box. $60 in value for $39.99. For $39.99. So an amazing value. I'm excited but to wait, open this up. If you use the promo code Ike Live, you get twelve fifty off of that. Wow. wow. Let me get my pen. I'm gonna open the seal for the first time. And I love the seal too. It says happy dance on that seal that I just broke. And we're gonna open this live on this podcast. Here it goes. Look A at Roman this. I'm gonna mother? open it up. There's my ruler right there. Brian, you wanna measure it and make sure it is the biggest one? Mm-hmm. Probably is. Uh I'm going to start right here with one. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. Pete, I'm going to pass to you. First bait that I pick out of the Mystery Tackle Box Elite is the Jackal Pompadour. Brian, let me tell you the interesting thing about this. Is the pom- the actual this pompadour? is the actual Pompadour. Brian the Carpenter. Michael. This is the bait when I was in Japan two falls ago. This bait was only available in Japan. Really cool, dynamic, unique topwater bait. That's crazy. But how cool, Pete, that you can get a bait in a mystery tackle box that a year or two ago was only available in Japan, and now it's available right there in the mystery tackle box. That's cool. Pete, what do you got? Man, I I, I got the Duo Realis. What? Duo Realis. Yeah. Wow. Get out of here. Jerk bait. Yeah. Very That's nice. Duo. Duo. Little jerk bait. Look at that. Um, Bry, you like that thing? I do. We, we talked with the guys from Duo and... Uh, on Batch University Live, but these these are uh, dynamite little baits. No doubt. Uh, cast welds. You know, I had an experience with these guys. Caught a pile of smallmouth uh, up on Lake Champlain. It's a little perch color. Yeah, that That's was going bait. in my box. Damn, good bait. Yeah. Mike, I'm getting that pompadour, right? Mm. Oh. I, already, I already took it out of the box. It's going to mine. What do you guys got? They have a Weston bait in here. I know. It looks freaking good, too. Beck, you want to do the Weston? Right, Beck's gonna do the Weston bait. It's the Hypo Cheese ST. Looks good, man. Swim bait. Weston's a um, well, it says here Scandinavian, but I knew um, there are you another know one of these. There, it's another one of these European companies that's looking to come in. But they have the duck, aren't they? The duck people. Yeah, Weston they does have, have a, a duck. duck. They do. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the Savage Duck. Well, they have a duck too. Yeah. That one's the Western. That's a Western right, right there. there, yeah. That's a Western. Yeah. Though. Okay. Well, bring it down. Some people can say. Peter. <laughs> Dude, are them feet kicking, or was I just imagining that? <laughs> They're kicking. Are they like wind up like the little Dude, duck? You were kicking. That's silly. I saw that. That was a <laughs> kick, and I saw it happen. <laughs> Let's talk about the saw crawl. Let's they get that ridiculous duck okay. here. Let's talk about the saw crawl. <laughs> Juiced with stank. Now, what I like about this, guys, and what we all like about this, right? Seriously, it's in the packaging where the where the where the the appendages aren't going to be creased or crimped, mm. right? It's going to be it's going to be true. And that's packaging is key. This yeah. packaging is legit, man. It it's is like, key. If you've ever touched a saw crawl pack, you're going to see that they're. I don't even want to touch it because I feel like having this stinky juice all over my finger, but. Like they're, it's serious, man. Like it's it's a good package. And I touched the bait just for the people watching the show. This is a legit crawl, man. It's heavy. This is probably an eighth of weight, wow. man. It's serious. A lot of salt it's in full it. Full size. It's heavy. Don't want to know over here, David. Let me see it real quick. It's definitely heavy. Do you feel heavy it is? It's a lot of meat. And it's stank. Oh, it's definitely stank. Mm-hmm. And it's enriched with stank. Oh, juiced with stank. <laughs> juiced with stank. <laughs> you know, anytime you put stank on a bait, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna look at it. Hey, Mike, I got a question for you. Yeah, Mike, so there's another, there's another product in there. I, su- I see, and I got it in my last Pro Box, and it's those rubber bands that they use to uh, turn your jig brush yep. guard into a split brush guard. Yeah. What's the validity of that? Well, I, it's a cool product. Beck, what's the name of the product? Uh, basically, it makes a single fiber guard jig 
it splits the guard, so it's a dual guard jig. It, it splits it in half. Um, like the one-ish one on Okeechobee. Was. Right. Conceptually, I like that because for emergent vegetation, reeds, cattails, I like that because I think it gets through They're that stuff better. The They're a pain in the ass to get through. When you split that guard, it comes through that stuff better. And the other thing I love about this, Brian the Carpenter, yeah. is you can use it for your jig, and you could also use it for your retainer or your braces. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's great. It's double oh. use. You can slip it on a fat Senko, too, for a wacky rigging. You could. Maybe. Yeah. The fat yeah. Senko's the big one, right? Yeah. The big, thick ones. Oh, yeah. I saw I saw on Blaster. They had some, like, one-pound Senko. Do you see that? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Big hot dog. Those yeah. big giant ones work well on the Potomac, man. Those, yeah. I'm not talking about the one pounder. I'm talking about that big size, that, seven. like the seven inch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of a lot of guys are using them. It cuts out all those pound and a half, two pound fish. And yeah. Only like nothing but big stuff jumps. Can on you it. believe how? You know the Senko haters persist. What? And and, and there's one back there. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, Who's that? Brian, Brian the concrete. Dude <laughs> wins the classic one again. How many? How many? How many tournaments got to get one? Yeah.